Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sagar Pushp and you are watching Doctor's Desk. So in this video, we're going to discuss about the medicine subject and its related topic for the UPSC CMS exam. This is not only for the 2023, uh, you can take it as you are giving uh, for the real exams also. So in this video, we're going to discuss firstly the some important topics which are uh, repeatedly coming from last five years. Firstly, we're going to discuss the, those topics uh, and related some uh, subtopics to that topics. And uh, we're going to discuss some important chapters I'm going to tell you which you must read before going for your exams. And if you are start preparing for the exam, you must read those chapters first. And after that, I'm going to tell you the important topics related to the different uh, chapters of the medicine. So hope uh, this video will going to help you during your preparation. And I did a lot of hard work for you uh, collecting different papers and uh, analyzing last five year papers and taking out some important topics and important chapters for you. So hope you're going to help, help you. Uh, so you, you're going to enjoy this video. So let's start the video now. So now firstly, we'll discuss the five most important topics and related some subtopics to it, which are repeatedly asking from uh, last five years. So hope uh, these uh, topics again going to repeat in 2023. So it's going to help you while your preparation. So starting with it, if you'll see, see the most first most important topic is pregnancy, which is getting repeated from last five years and uh, how they are asking the questions. I'll tell you. First, if you'll see that I've written some subtopics related to it, like firstly, you'll see the HIV. So HIV transmission during pregnancy, they're going to ask you uh, and, uh, what all HIV complication can occur during pregnancy. And if the mother is HIV positive, how you going to manage the pregnancy? All these things they're going to they ask you during uh, your exams. Second is the thyroid disease related to hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. How you going to manage during pregnancy? And in the third part, they're going to ask you the malaria, mainly the falciparum malaria, uh, how you're going to manage during pregnancy. And the next is gestational diabetes mellitus. Uh, all of you know, this is most important topic. And the liver failure and hepatitis B. All these are the subtopics which are related to the pregnancy and how you're going to manage all these diseases during the pregnancy. So they're going to ask you definitely because they are repeat repeatedly asking from last five years. If you move to the next, I have written the drugs. Because in medicine, they are making the questions clinical and they are asking mainly the treatment part of that. And these are the four uh, drugs uh, related to the four ch chapters, uh, which, which you have to read from the pharmacology because they're gonna repeatedly, they are repeatedly asking from uh, these topics. Like if you'll see CVS, this is this is the most important uh, topic uh, chapter. You have to read from the pharmacology. It's gonna help you a lot during your exam. Next is the anticoagulant drugs. You know this is most important and the very important that is the diabetes mellitus you have to read oral hypoglycemic drugs and injectables also it gonna de definitely gonna come in this exam because they are repeatedly asking from five to six years and last anemia and leukemia you have to read all these things so these four chapters from the pharmacology you must read before going to the exam and definitely telling the, the one or two questions uh, related to anemia or leukemia or anticoagulants or diabetes mellitus or CVS clinical questions they're going to ask you related to the cardiovascular diseases related to drugs so definitely four to five questions are going to come from this part to hope uh, you all going to read this before going for the exams if you see the next part is hiv so what all have, you have to read uh, related to the hiv because last five years again i'm telling uh, these uh, topics are repeatedly asking and what they are asking I have written in the subtopics like stages of HIV, transmission related uh, part of the HIV, diagnostic criteria and the complications of HIV, which I have uh, earlier mentioned in pregnancy also. So you have to read all these things uh, like complications, transmission, diagnostic criteria, stages. So hope uh, you are going to read and it will help you during your examination. Now we will see the diabetes mellitus. This is the most important topic. I have told you during the drug also, drug part also or pregnancy part also like gestational diabetes mellitus and, and uh, this oral hypo hypoglycemic drugs or injectable hypoglycemic drugs. So you can see uh, what they're going to ask you related to diabetes mellitus. First is the risk factors. You have to uh, read this 
next is the complication like microvascular and macrovascular complication of diabetes mellitus skin complications also uh, they have asked one time and drugs i already told you and the, how are you going to manage just standard diabetes mellitus uh, complication in pregnancy so these the five topics which i am telling you they definitely will come gonna uh, gonna, gonna come this year the next is tuberculosis you all of you know how much important it is so tuber tuberculosis you have to read firstly the drugs of the tuberculosis uh, used in uh, tuberculosis anti tubercular drugs next uh, how you going to manage if the mother is uh, tuberculosis mother having uh, tuberculosis so how going to deal with the deal with the dead part in the pregnancy cns complications like tuberculosis meningitis they are asking again and again and the most important part that is the management part related to tuberculosis so these are the five topics which i have discussed uh, these are repeatedly asking in um, last five year papers and uh, what they have asked in last five year papers i have i have uh, told you in uh, in a way that like sub topics these are the most important thing you must read before going for the exams now we going to i going to tell you most important chapters if you are starting your preparation now kindly read these chapters first after and move to the other chapters in the medicine like cvs the most important uh, chapter next is the cns they are asking more questions from cvs cns git and the blood and do not forget reading snake bite and poisoning because this is the favorite part of the upsc paper they want to ask you a snake bite and the different poisoning in each uh, year so these are the five chapters you have to read must read before uh, start uh, starting Uh, your preparation you have to make uh, routine regarding to, uh, related to this that you have to start your preparation from cvs cns git blood and snake bite and poisoning after reading this you have to move to the next chapters like nephro and respiratory system so we will move to the next i tell you the most important topics in the cvs which you must read before um, read or uh, revise before going for the exam so hope all these topics uh, will going to help you like uh, in cvs coronary artery disease ischemic heart disease different types of murmur kindly revise different types of murmur because they are asking repeatedly jugular venous pulse and all the clinical questions related to it heart sounds normal and abnormal and the ecg this murmur jvp heart sound and ecg definitely will gonna, gonna come here this gonna come this year also because they are repeatedly asking from last 5 years so don't miss it coronary artery disease and ischemic heart disease so these six topics which i have told you uh, from the cms definitely one one question will come from this i am sure i am pretty sure about this after exam you can uh, comment me or you can send me message that definitely this all this uh, important topics are there uh, question will come next move to the cns part uh, most important topic in cns which the upsc cms is asking is uh, parkinsonism next is the myasthenia myasthenia gravis and the cranial nerve palsy is the most uh, important topic for them mainly they are asking the third nerve palsy again and again and the different lobe lesions like frontal lobe parietal lobe stroke lower and upper motor neuron is the most important and most favorite topic for them types of headache they are asking dementia and delirium they are asking again and again the next we'll see the git part git protein losing enteropathy celiac disease h pylori infection and it's uh, related with the gastric carcinoma they are asking again and again crohn's and ulcerative colitis they have asked three times uh, irritable bowel syndrome from last 5 years A acute pancreatitis uh, in one paper they, are, they were asked four to five question from this acute pancreatitis only so these are the most important topics of the git you must revise before going for the exams so uh, in a whole git if i will say uh, this irritable bowel syndrome and acute pancreatitis is the most important thing <clears throat> next we'll move to the blood this is the most important chapter you must read which i have told earlier also so they're going to ask you different types of anemia anemia like mainly they are asking the iron deficiency anemia and sickle cell anemia uh, if you we'll say leukemia they they had asked uh, around one or two question from last 5 years so I'm, i don't think so they're going to ask again anticoagulant agents i've already told you it's very important 
blood uh, grouping and cross matching blood products and uh, transfusion and its complications they are asking again and the multiple myeloma these are the five important topics uh, well, definitely questions will gonna come from these uh, topics so and fine i'm definitely telling you hyper hypothyroidism or thyroid function test definitely this year question will come because from last five to six year they are asking two or three questions from this part and thyroid function test uh, hypo and hypothyroidism related to pregnancy they are uh, asking differently also uh, osteoporosis you have to read and uh, drug causing osteoporosis you also have to read pcod and hirsutism is a favorite topic for, uh, for them so definitely these four topics are more important from the endocrine part so before going for exam must uh, revise these topics in the respiratory system firstly you have to read the basic part like types of respiratory failure how you going to different, differentiate the restrictive and obstructive diseases um, and the pleural fluid analysis pleural fluid analysis is a favorite topic for them so you must read this pleural fluid analysis asthma every year they are asking two to three questions from the asthma related to its management related to its risk factor related to its clinical features so you have to read everything about uh, asthma and in COPD also they are doing the same like asthma and bronchiectasis they are uh, asking mainly the x-ray features CT scan features and mainly clinical questions they are asking from asthma COPD and bronchiectasis so please uh, firstly uh, before starting the reading respiratory system kindly read the basics part and same I'm saying for the cardiovascular system before starting the cardiovascular system read the ECG, JDB, murmur because definitely they're gonna ask two two question two two question from each topic which I have told you earlier so now we'll move to the nephro part nephro is much not much important for the upsc symptoms but two or three topics they are repeatedly asking like ckd nephrotic syndrome glomerulonephritis or autoregulation of the gfr mainly they are as, uh, repeatedly asking the ckd the ckd is the most important kindly read it and its uh, relationship with the diabetes mellitus they are asking again and again so now we'll move to the this question these are the other topic which uh, i must say you must read before going for your exam like obesity and weight loss definitely they are asking sometime obesity then in the next next paper they are asking weight loss all the criteria and how to manage snake bite and poisoning is all i have already told you this is a favorite topic for them they're gonna again uh, again again they are asking in the different uh, previous year papers hypersensitive reaction is very important rheumatoid arthritis this year also they're gonna ask mm, i'm definitely telling you one question or two question definitely will be from the rheumatoid arthritis because from last five to six they are asking again and again sld vasculitis they, is important topic and the gout from last three years they are ask, asking about gout and pseudo gout so kindly read these topics so i hope uh, medicine part which i have analyzed from last five years and uh, ch choosing these topics for you you must read while preparing also and kindly mark in your notes while preparing and before going for the exam exams in last five to ten days revise these topics again and again i'm not going uh, i'm not telling don't read other topics while preparing but before going for the exam kindly uh, revise these topics because mm, 70 to 80 questions 70 to 80 percent of the question will come from this topic only i'm i'm telling you because i have seen last 10 year papers that's why i'm telling you so kindly uh, share subscribe and follow my channel so it will give me positive uh, boost up so i'll upload some more videos the next video we're going to discuss uh, about the same pattern we're going to discuss the pediatric paper also so hope uh, you have enjoyed this and hope uh, it's going to help you during your preparation and during your exam so all the best for your exams keep helping others and it will come back to your own it will definitely come back to you in different forms so hope all of you have enjoyed Thank you and thanks for watching.